you know this is one of those days where I'm not really sure should I continue or should I just call it quits because I mean there's not much of a view because of all the clouds and I still have to go up there so I don't know I'm just gonna continue and see what happens So this is where things get a little bit tricky because I don't see the point of actually going up there since the clouds are coming up and it's gonna be really difficult to photograph well anything and number two I did not bring a drop of water on what is a two-hour hike to the top which means that I'm the worst hiker ever that walked the planet so if I've proved anything in this video it's this the worst hiker the worst hiker ever Now you probably remember the last time I was here, I said I would never bring a telephoto lens with me. Well, I would probably not do that unless somebody's gonna pay me, you know, a lot of money to come up here with that big piece of glass. So, who's the idiot now? And there's absolutely nothing to photograph because it's all covered in clouds. Maybe some spots below where the light is shining through, but that's pretty much it. So, gotta make the best of it. This was a fun little trip. I have to say that I've learned my lesson and if you're not sure about the weather, definitely don't drag something like this up a very, very steep hill. I mean, if that was any steeper, I would actually have to climb. And this is a very heavy lens. This is the Tamron 150 to 500 millimeters. And I actually wanted to capture some layers like you see in this photograph from last year. I mean, if the conditions are right, that spot is ideal for capturing photographs of layers. And if you want to count the layers on this photograph, I mean, there's a lot of them, seriously. Anyway, yeah, lesson learned. So these are all the photographs I took today and I'm just going to select the ones that I've added a one star. This means that they are edited. So I'm going to start off first with this image over here. I've made this one a silhouette black and white, like almost fully silhouette. I like the fact that there is a little bit of detail over here, but I started off with an image that looks like this. So this was the start and this is then the edited version. This just calls for a silhouette. So I really like the way these guys are kind of waiting for, for the last person, the weakest link in the chain. And I think the image is sharp enough. So there is a little bit of grain and noise, digital noise, but that's, I don't mind that. I don't really care if there's, in, if there's noise in the shot. Now this next one is a very dramatic image. Uh, I started with this, so it was very much underexposed and also I cropped it in quite a lot as you can see but this is what I started with and then with a little bit of dodging and burning and tweaking the colors this just tells the story of today I think this was how I felt as I was going up it was really like chaotic and hectic and wind and everything was just cloudy and light coming through the clouds and yeah I felt really alive when I was going up so this is what I would describe my feeling as I was climbing <laughs> or hiking up. So this next one is a super telephoto shot at 500 millimeters and I did this on a tripod and this is the old castle above Kamnik that looks like this you know but from a distance I actually got the shot and you can see it's well it's sharp enough I would say I did however crop this in now this is where I was hiking upwards and if I look down you know you have this nice s and and I cropped it in a little bit but I also tweaked the colors just a teeny tiny bit in order to get this side a little bit more on the orange and this side a little bit more on the green I did not change you no know, like brush anything and I'll just change the saturation if I show you so this is how it looks without the edit and this is then with the edit and there's this nice separation you know and did the, the s curve like a leading line leading to well a separating left and right I find it very interesting so this is why I took this shot and it came out kind of nice and this is something that I wanted to you know I wanted to capture some layers and this is 
the only thing close to layers I could get. Not typical layers, but you know, just the shape in the rock and, and how the, sh the light was shining on these rocks is just, I don't know, it, it caught my eye and I took a photograph and I think it came out kind of nice. This next photograph, again, a vista panorama from the, from the view from the top, a whole kind of hectic weather freakish events going on. And I could literally stay up here for like an hour, two hours, three hours, uh, and probably get some even more interesting photographs. Uh, and this next one is one of those. So the wind was kind of swirling this this cloud around and, and it was happening right in front of me. So I took a photograph of this. I did also crop it in a little bit in order to kind of emphasize this shape over here. And this is, this is the starting image. You can see very much underexposed. And then with a little bit of dodging, burning, brightening and darkening, uh, yeah looks kind of interesting. Okay, so these are the eight photographs that I managed to salvage out of all of the 58 that I took. And if I just brush through, you can see that a lot of the photographs are you know, either not sharp or really dull or really just stupid. But now what I should have done is make a time lapse of how things looked and showed you guys. This would be probably an interesting thing. The problem is, however, it was so windy that any time lapse, anything on a tripod would be just moving because I had to hold my camera and my 150 to 500 millimeter lens that weighs two kilograms. I had to hold it because the wind would tip the tripod over and I have a kind of heavy duty tripod. So yeah, no time lapse sadly, but anyway, I just wanted to take you guys with me on this photo trip, which was quite interesting for me. And hopefully the video was a little bit interesting for you. If you want to comment on any of these photographs, please feel free to do that down below. Also consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and we can get to know each other a little bit more and hit the like button. You know, everybody hit the like button because this helps YouTube to promote the video uh, and it's for free. You just hit the like and thank you. It means a lot and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.